lot of folks assume that cosmetic laser hair removal can only be performed by doctors, but a growing number of people other than doctors now offer the procedure, and laser injuries are on the rise. Dr. Alan Kling is a board-certified dermatologist. He has advice on keeping your skin safe. Dr. Kling, thanks for joining us. We appreciate right. it. Just how dangerous is this procedure? Laser hair removal in the, right, in the right hands is not a dangerous procedure. It should be done by a qualified physician or under the supervision of a qualified physician. All over the country, and I see it here in New York City, you see a lot of complications when it's being done in spas and beauty salons by cosmeticians. How widespread is the problem of injuries? It's, it's large and it's increasing. Lasers are powerful and they're getting stronger and more people are getting the uh, procedure done every day. Let's go through some of the types of injuries that doctors like yourselves are seeing these days. The person we're going to see in this little bite right here has a striped arm. Now, how did, how did this happen? Um, there we go. That's... You see that, doctor? Yes. Uh, that's because this is, a, this is a laser which was used, and it was used in the wrong, the wrong settings, too aggressive and too much of an intensity. And this is a permanent scar that you have over here. Okay, the next photo we have shows a woman with red marks on her face. Now tell us what happened here. Oh, uh, this is a terrible case. This was laser hair removal. It was used in too aggressive, it was, uh, and it, the person got blisters and burns and all these changes in pigmentation and the wrong laser, the wrong mm. type of laser was used for that procedure. And people are also using lasers to have such things as brown spots removed from their face. I is that very dangerous? Is that something people should do? It's not dangerous, do? but it should not be done by an esthetician or cosmetologist. The most important thing is a mole should not have it taken out. Sometimes cosmeticians are seeing little changes and they're, they're taking out little brown spots, thinking that they're sunspots. They could be cancers and they could miss the cancer, which can later come back more aggressively and spread. And what do you think? Can this increase in complications be linked to the fact that more non-doctors are performing these procedures? Complications are going to occur with physicians and non-physicians. They're less likely to occur with physicians because they're better trained to diagnose and treat skin conditions. The non-physicians who do perform these procedures say that some doctors are angry simply because they're taking business away from doctors. What do you think about that? I think there's a consumer protection issue. Um, the power, lasers are very powerful machines, and they can do a lot of good, but they can do a lot of harm in the wrong hands. The most important thing is that people have to, who are doing it have to be trained, and they have to be able to, uh, to know what they're doing and there isn't any amount of weekend courses which are going to allow estheticians to uh, learn how to diagnose and treat skin conditions. Well, these non-doctors also say they take the same course that you do when it comes to this laser technology. They take similar courses but they're different. Also physicians are going in with 10 or more years of formal training and they know more about diagnosing conditions. It's not really at the same level. We're going to go through some, through some guidelines here. The American Society for Dermatological Surgery has, says you should follow if you're going to have a cosmetic laser hair removal from a non-physician. Number one, make sure that a doctor is on site ask questions. Is this laser right for your skin type? That's something you can ask the person doing this and they should know this? That's a critical question. Um, the la it has to be the right laser for the person's skin type. I know in my practice in New York City, I now have a laser which can be work for people of all different complexions safely. However, a number of years ago, I would not do certain patients with darker skin colors because there's an increased chance of burning. I've seen complications coming to my mm. New York City office of people who did not turn those people away and they got into trouble and got burned. When I get through these next two very quickly, you say get a test patch? If there's any, if there's any question whether or not this is the right laser for you, you get a test, see if you react okay to it, and that way it stays a and safe finally, procedure. don't wait to call. If you have any problems, discomfort, pain, call your doctor right away. Early intervention is critical. Okay, Dr. Alan Kling. Thanks a lot. Thank we you. We appreciate it.